balanced diet is eating a variety of foods that contain the right amount of nutrients. And to help us with this, the government issues guidelines. These guidelines are called the Recommended Daily Allowance, or RDA for short. And this tells us the amount of each nutrient that you should eat each day to maintain good health. For example, for an adult, it recommends that you should eat less than 70 grams of fat, and of that, less than 20 grams, which is saturated fat, at least 260 grams of carbohydrates, but no more than 90 grams of that to be sugar, 50 grams of protein, and less than 6 grams of salt. So when shopping for foods, it's important to see the food packaging to see the amount of each nutrient that you are consuming. Furthermore, the government has introduced a traffic light system so that it's really obvious to the consumer when they are eating a product which is high in a certain amount of nutrients. For example, on the left here you can see the halloumi cheese is high in fats, saturated fats and salt. Compare this to the chestnuts on the right hand side and they are all green for fat, saturated fat and salt. However, there is an amber warning there for the amount of sugar in the chestnuts. There are seven key nutrients. These are carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, which are fats and oils, fiber, vitamins, minerals, and water. Carbohydrates provide energy. They are found in foods such as sugary foods and fruit for fast released energy, and foods such as pasta, rice, cereals and bread for slow release energy. Protein is for growth and repair. Many parts of your body are made of protein, including muscles and organs. Proteins are found in foods such as meat, fish and eggs. Lipids are for insulation and energy. Lipids insulate your body and keep you warm. They also provide the body with a secondary source of energy, further to carbohydrates. Lipids are found in foods such as milk, cheese, nuts and meat. Fibre is to aid digestion. Fibre is found in foods such as whole grain cereals and vegetables. Unlike the other nutrients, you don't digest fibre, it just helps with your digestion. It adds bulk to the food that passes through your body to help the food pass through more easily and it prevents constipation. Vitamins and minerals are to maintain health. Vitamins and minerals are found in foods such as fruits and vegetables. Vitamins and minerals are needed in small amounts but are very important in order to stay healthy. For example, calcium is a mineral needed for strong bones and vitamin C is needed for a healthy immune system. Water is needed for all cells and body fluids. 70% of your body is made up of water. You lose water every day in sweat and urine. You must replenish the water you lose by drinking lots of water, more than one litre every day. Hi guys, if you enjoyed that last video, then please click on the screen to subscribe. You can also find all my videos in one place at GCSERevisionMonkey.com. If you're a teacher, check out the Key Stage 3 package at ScienceSurgery.com. It contains all of the Revision Monkey videos as well as loads more Key Stage 3 resources.